Okay, good morning everyone. Hey, I'm making this video this morning because there's still some confusion about how to upload papers into Blackboard. And uh, I'm just going to go over this real quick uh, just to clear up any confusion, hopefully. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to open a Word doc. And so this would be our, our Word doc. So we're going to put, the way this is formatted, an MLA. Uh, your name goes here, and then my name, and then uh, class, and then the date. So this date needs to be written out or formatted. Today's the 15th, so it would be 1-5 February 2023. There are no commas, and everything is spelled out, okay? So all this needs to be uh, left aligned, and of course, when it's formatted like this, everything is indented. So all this needs to be scooted over to the, to the left side here, and you probably could have highlighted that and scooted it over. But anyway, I wanted to go over the, uh, the header. So up here in this top part, if you double click on that, this is where your header goes, okay? Your page number goes up here. So if you look over here on your uh, top left hand corner, page number, if you click on that, we're going to go top of the page and we're going to use this plain number three. And all this is on that MLA 8 uh, video that I have on the uh, Blackboard site. So if you look at this, this is where we want our page number. And then your name will be next to that with a space. Now you can either come up here and close the header and footer or you can just come down below this dotted line and double click on it and it will go away. Okay, this is the only thing that needs to be in the header, okay? This is the only thing that needs to be here, okay? Once you come here, you hit enter one time, okay? And then you come over to center align on this little tab right there, center align, and this is where your title goes, okay? It will be center align. Okay, and just make sure that uh, once you do this, all these fonts, okay, all of these, even these up here, okay, are the same. Times New Roman, 12 point. And then once you put the title on there, then you want to come over here, left the line, okay, come back over there. And now you're going to have to indent this. So you hit tab, that will move everything over to indent, okay. So then this is where. The first part of uh, will start, okay, and then once you do that, see how it comes back down to the, the left aligned over here. Let me make sure that look, doesn't look like it's left aligned. I guess it is. Okay, so hit that again. Boom hit that okay so now we're going to save this all right so once your paper is all done okay you want to save it so you come over here to file and we're going to save as okay so you can save it anywhere you want but just remember when you save it where you save it and the title of it okay so this is uh, the title is called your name so I usually save mine on the cloud because TCC actually gives you uh, I think it's like 10 gigs of uh, storage on the OneDrive so if you use that you have 10, gig, 10 free gigs of storage on that so okay so here is our writing foundations writing foundations 2 so you can save this here Whatever folder you want to save in, just remember when you saved it. So we're going to save that as your name or my name, okay? So then once you've saved this, you can click out of it, just cancel this or X out of it, okay? And then when you get ready to, to uh, do the assignment, when you get ready to upload it, go to the tab, okay? So here's unit one over here, here's unit two, weeks five and eight, okay? And that's where we want to be. This has all of your uh, 
assignments for, for this next unit. So this part just tells you what this unit is about, what to expect. By the end of the four weeks, you should have written a short essay with a narrative focus. So that should tell you we're going to be writing a narrative essay okay, by the end of this four weeks. Okay? And then you will basically expound on that, verb tenses, verb consistency, and some other things. So here is here are your objectives. A short, coherent, organized essays, apply standard MLA formatting, okay, that's what we're going over right now. Use a writing process that includes planning, drafting, revising, and editing, okay? So, this is the writing process. Usually, it includes planning, pre-writing, okay, that's the drafting, okay, that's your rough draft, that's your first draft, and then you have to go back and revise it. And then once you revise it, that's your second draft, you will go back again and basically edit it and revise it again. Okay, so by the end of this unit, you should be comfortable doing this, okay? So we're in week five. So if you click on week five, this will tell you what we're going to be doing this week. Okay, here we have the chapter three that we covered yesterday, okay? Read chapter three, all right? And then uh, you have to take this quiz by Thursday, by tomorrow, 10 p.m., okay? And you click on this right here, and that's where you take the quiz, all right? Now, your reflection paper that's due this week, this is where you get the instructions for it, okay? If you download this paper right here, this reflection paper, it will give you exactly this right here. It will tell you the purpose and what to, uh, what to basically do to write your paper. You are going to describe the steps it took to uh, you took throughout the process, uh, how the, both peer and tutor instructor feedback help shape the revision of this draft, and discuss one aspect of writing, okay, that you want to improve. Okay? And two two ways you will pursue that goal. Now these two ways you can use uh, the writing center of course is one of them. And um, you may be able to do some online um, tutoring as well. Okay, so this grading criteria, this is kind of confusing because it says you will receive 10 points for addressing each of the prompts above. But what that means is you're just going to get 10 points, okay, for addressing these three topics. So, here's where you upload your reflection paper three, okay? If you click on that, that will open. Okay, here's all of your, uh, yeah, 10 points possible. And this is just for your rough draft, okay? This is not for your completed paper because you're going to go back and revise it and then you're going to go back and edit it. That's the whole process, okay? So, what you're going to be writing about in this paper is that process and how you're going to make a plan to improve it later or two ways to improve it later. So, when you get ready to upload your paper, you can either write submission, which I don't don't recommend. You can actually copy it from your your uh, your Word doc and paste it into that. But it's so much easier just to upload it as a Word doc, okay? And you click right here, attach files, browse local files. Click on that. Then you go to where did we save that? Oh yeah, we saved that in Foundations too. And it was your name and when you click on that it will give you okay a, a little preview of what it looks like so make sure that's the right one that you want to uh, use so then you just open this okay and here it is right here it's already there and it's uh, your link title file name and right here you have the option to not attach it if you decide that's not the right one you can not attach it but if you are leave that alone don't don't mess with that so then you don't have to do anything else this is where the add comments this is your communication to me you know this is where you say okay here's my paper I was kind of rushed so the word count might be a little bit light but you know I'm working on it as long as you're communicating with me it's it's all good right so once you made your comments you've communicated with me you come right over here to submit okay now that's when you're ready to submit your paper for a grade. 
So once you submit that, I'm just going to go ahead and do it because you can see right up here it says submission is not saved. But when you do that, yours will, you should get a green ribbon across that saying success. You've just submitted your paper, but because that's mine and it's a, a practice thing, it's not. So we'll go down here. Once you submit that, I can go down here to my um, grade center and needs grading. I can click on that. And if you have done this correctly, there is stuff in here for me to grade, okay? There's not any right now because I have it cleared off, but if there's something that needs to be graded, it will be, okay? So then, in addition to that, I can come down here to Full Grade Center, click on that, and that gives me everyone's, what they've turned in, what they haven't turned in, okay? And then I know who's turned in what, who's still missing stuff, and then we can have a conversation about that. But this is basically just to show you how to uh, get the paper uploaded. We're still having some issues with people wanting to do it in Word docs and sharing the Word doc to the assignment page, which doesn't work real well. All I do is get a little link that I have to click on in the, in the, uh, the thing to be graded. And then uh, it will open it in a Word doc, but then it's not saved as a Word doc. I can't, I have to download it. I mean, there's several other steps I have to go through on my end to get that paper downloaded so I can actually make comments on it and give you feedback on it. That's why I'm trying to streamline this process as much as possible, okay, and make it easier for everyone. So if you are using Word docs, let's just work on that for a second. Let's go up here and go to uh, uh, Word documents, okay? And let me use this for an example. I think go to the drive and open a, a, a Google Doc, okay? And uh, let's see. So here, this is a Word Doc, all right? In Google Docs, this is a Google document. If you use Google Docs, you can still download this as a regular Word Doc, okay? All you have to do is go over here, up here to the left hand corner, File, Edit, View, Insert, Format, and if you click on File, I believe, you can download this. Download to Microsoft Word. Look at that. You download that, and then Word document opens up. Well, it will download it. It will actually change it to a Word document. Now, you have downloaded a Google Doc into a Word document, and that's all you have to do. Then you, uh, if you've already edited it, then there's nothing else you need to do. The only thing that you do have to do is save it. So then you have to go back up here and save it on your computer or on the drive as, you know, whatever you want to save it as. You just uh, save as, browse, and then go like we did before, uh, wherever you want to save it. Here we did, uh, oh, where are we? Yeah, okay. Writing Foundations, Foundations 2, and, you know, make sure you have a name on there, okay, what you're saving it as, because if you don't, then you're going to have a lot of untitled documents saved on your drive and not know which ones are which. Okay, so that is it. We're not going to save that one. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. I would rather have you ask and communicate with me than keep doing the same wrong thing over and over again, okay? So, that is that.